Thank you for staying with me. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export your regression output from Stata to Excel using Outreach 2 and Esto Estab commands. Outreach 2 will export your output to a .txt, which is a Stata data editor browse domain. From there, you can then copy to Excel and save. If you are using the Esto Estab commands, the output will be exported to a .csv file there you can now format the output and save as an Excel file. As I said in my previous video on how to export from Stata to MS Word, these commands can be used on any estimation technique, whether OLS, ARDL, VAR, Tobit, Logit, Provit, IV Reg, whatsoever. Once that estimation method can give you a table, you can apply any of these commands and that table will be exported to MS Word or MS Excel, as the case may be. In my usual fashion, this is Stata domain. I have my log file on. My variables are in place. And in my usual practice, this is my do file with all the commands I'm going to execute. The first command will be the tset here command, by which I'm telling Stata to get ready to run time series analysis. If you don't run this command, Stata will not run your time series analysis. The command is already executed, and this is the outcome from Stata. Time variable is set from 1981 to 2014. So now we are ready. So the first command I'm going to show you is the outreach 2 command. I have written out the regression command here. You can see it. And below it is the outreach command. And you can see the .txt here. So this one tells you you are working with the spreadsheet. I'm highlighting both commands and I'm executing. Here's the output. You can see here dir c out. So click on this. And like I said, it takes you back to the data editor browse of Stata. You can see it up here. So this is the output in table form. So what you can do is to highlight, you can click here to copy all, click on this icon, copy, and move everything here to an Excel sheet. Here is the output in Excel, but you need to know that the numbers under the coefficients are the standard errors in parentheses, but because we moved it to a different interface, the parentheses have been converted to minus signs. So all you have to do is to change them back to parentheses so that you don't make mistake in your analysis. So this is how you do that. You click on that cell, then you put the apostrophe, then you return the parentheses back. If you don't put the apostrophe, it won't work. So you can see I've returned all the parentheses. There's a little message here for you, hit enter to continue. So hit your enter button and see what happens here in the variables domain. So I'm going to hit the enter button now. So all the variables are back. Like I said earlier on, you can use the address 2 command for any estimation technique. What I just performed is a simple OLS. So you can use the same command for ARDL or VAR or uh, instrumental variables uh, regressions or any estimation technique that you are using. It will work. So next I'm going to show you a stepwise regression. A stepwise regression is simply when you are adding variables to your model. For instance, in the, in the first regression, I only have two variables. That is, I'm regressing log of EDS on the log of real GDP. In the second analysis, I'm including government expenditure. In the third analysis, I'm including exchange rate. So as I'm increasing the variables, I'm telling Stata to append the result to that table. So I'm going to get just one table from this stepwise regression. And also notice the options here. The first option here is a replace option, meaning replace whatever is in the memory with this new table. The append option simply means append this current result with the table. So be careful how you use the replace and the append. So the append will just um, include the new um, output with what is there already. But replace will overwrite whatever is in your memory. So I'm going to highlight all these commands now and execute. Again, you can see the dir.c out. Let's click it. 
and you can see again the result is on the data editor browse of stata like i showed you earlier on just highlight copy and copy to your excel sheet but be careful with the numbers in parentheses that are standard errors because they are going to change to minus signs so make sure you convert them back to parentheses so this is an ARDL example let me highlight all of it and run it so here's the dir c out again let's click on that so you can see here the ARDL results stepwise column one two three as you can see here relates to the first regression four five six second regression seven eight nine third regression you can see all the coefficients and your standard errors in place so again just simply highlight at this corner click the copy button and move to excel sheet the third example is if you are running a var all the commands are written out i'm highlighting and i execute again the dirc out is out i'm clicking it so here is the var result in the tabular form all i need to do is to click here this corner everything gets highlighted i click the copy button and i move all to excel spreadsheet those are the very simple ways of using the outrage to command the next command i'm going to show you is the stab command the stab command goes with the store command meaning estimate store so starting with the ols example i have written out the command here you can see estimate store that's s to with a colon then the regression command is here then s tab the estimate will be written to my c drive on desktop and i've labeled it ols the dot csv tells me it's going to move it to a spreadsheet so this is the command and below is the estimate store clear command i'm simply telling stata after running this output clear the memory of this estimate so make sure you always put estimate store at the end of this uh, command i'm highlighting all this and execute so you can see here output written to the c drive desktop and this is title of the document i'm clicking this so here is the result but remember it's a dot csv and you can't do much formatting in a dot csv file so what i do all the time is that i always copy to excel spreadsheet so i highlight all this i copy and i move it to a new worksheet for excel i paste so here i can do every formatting that i need so let's assume it's an ARDA regression is the same thing write out your regression command write the stab command and remember to include the estimate store clear command highlight everything this is for ARDL execute you can see here the command ARDL.csv let's click on that so here on the screen is the output for the ARDL results again this is a .csv interface you can't do much here always remember to move it to an excel worksheet so that you can do all the necessary prepping change the variable name to their real names put some borders just to make it more presentable so next i'll show you if i was doing a var regression same thing is done all the commands are written there clearly i execute so the output is written to my c drive you can see here desktop var so i click on it so here you can see var results in the dot csv uh, interface you can see it here you can't do much here so always copy to an excel sheet and do appropriate formatting just like i showed you under outreach 2 you can also do stepwise regression using the s2 and s tab commands so using the ols example i've copied everything out here in the stepwise manner so here you can see output is written to my desktop labeled ols let's click on that and let's see what we have remember it's a stepwise regression so here it is all the three regressions are in a single table and this looks more presentable than having three tables we have all of them in one table so this is for ols 
for ARDL, highlight everything, execute. Click on this link. And on the screen, you have it, ARDL. Remember again, this is a CSV interface. You can't do much. Move it to an Excel worksheet and do every formatting that you desire. So this is for ARDL, stepwise regression. All of them in one table. Lastly, let me show you for a VAR estimation in a stepwise manner. Same procedure, I highlight and I click Run. So here again is a link, var.csv, let's click it. And there we have our var results, the three regressions, all compactly put in a table. All I need to do, like I said before, is to just simply copy here and move it to Excel worksheet because this is a .csv file. I can't do much formatting. So I have simply shown you how you can use Outreach 2 command and the stop command to move your stata output to Excel. Depending on whichever one you prefer, you can use them. If you need the do file, send me an email. You can get my email from my website and I will send you this do file. If you have enjoyed any of our tutorials, please tell your friends and your colleagues, tell your academic community let them subscribe to our YouTube channel for them to get easy to understand tutorials on econometrics. Thank you for staying with me. Don't go away. I'll be right back.